Good. Uh, now with the selection sort, we've seen that what we needed to do is basically just to find the max. Once we find the max, we just swap the max with the last position. That's what we used to do. I just put these uh, tests so we can see the thing running. So I see it before it's like this. Then I call the selection sort and then I display after and it's A, B, C and then Z. Now, uh, I'd like to do the same now with the bubble sort. Now private static. Let me push this to your screen so you won't be able to <coughs> okay, we said void and then bubble sort. And I'm going to copy this because I'd like to have the same array list here. Now, with the bubble sort, what we do is that we have a for loop. We're going just to do one pass, but we need to do many passes. But just let's do one pass that is going to swap them one by one from this one until the list dot size minus one why minus one you remember why we do have to do minus one here because we don't want to overshoot the position because what we're going to be doing here is that we're going to be comparing the list dot get this i and compare it to list dot get i plus one and if the i is bigger than plus one then we need to swap these two values so this if the i is bigger if the the one i is on the left the i plus one is on the right if the one on the left is bigger than the one on the right we need to swap them because we would like to have the bigger one on the right side so that's why we have this question if the one on the right when it compares to the one on the sorry one on the left compared to the one on the right this is bigger then we have to swap them so to swap we have to do the same thing now what is the same thing again we need the temp we save the i let's say and then we're going to change the i set the i with the this dot get i plus one now what I did, I get the element from the one on the right and put it in the i. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change the one with the i plus one to the temp. I take the element on the left, this is the left, this is the right. The element of the left, I put it into the temp. Then I'm changing the element of the left to be this new value now what is the new value of the element of the left which is the i i'm going to put the value of i plus one the one on the right and then in the position i plus one i'm going to put the temp <coughs> so this way i'm swapping them so this is a swap i swap when when this one on the left is bigger than the one next to it. And I need to repeat this thing many times. But I'm, going, I'm not going to, I'm just going to start just with one. Uh, with this bubble sort, I'm just going to do this one thing and then run. So I can see what it did. So what happened is that it took this, compared to this one. This one is bigger than this one, so I'm going to swap them. So now A and Z are swapped. Then this Z now is here, I compare it with C. It's A and C, which one is bigger? Now this is the Z, Z is bigger, so it's going to swap Z and C. That's why I'm going to see C here. And then I am keep swapping Z because Z is the biggest, so it keeps swapping, swapping until it comes here. So at the end, what I did, I swapped Z with A, I swapped Z with C, and swapped Z with B. Now that's the... the this first step. Now we need to do exactly the same thing now, but with the remaining three. Which means what needs to happen is I need to do the same, but this time it should be 
minus 1 and that's it that's all I have to do right the rest is going to be the same no no yes no what I need to do I need to compare this and then I'm comparing this one with the next one and so on and then this is going to swap every time I found something new what did I do Adobe Device Central well, we will discover what this is in another video maybe but now let me just show you what needs to be done if I'd like now to do the same for all the rest of the array I just need to have this sort inside of another for loop I'm just going to put another for loop I'm going to call it J J is going to be until the size minus 1 why minus 1? because how many times I'd like to repeat subtracting the, the size of the array now this j here the first time is going to be subtracted from zero because it's zero so nothing happens it's going to work the same way but the next time j becomes one and then my list is going to start again but this time starting from zero until the one before the last and do so until I finish the whole thing which means now my bubble sort is going to sort them similarly just as a reminder I'm just going to put this as a comment <coughs> and bring back some code when we were doing the same thing this sorting with ints uh, let's see this is the bubble sort with an int and check this and I'd like to copy it and bring it next to this one so you can compare these two now of course this is now called uh, array I'm just going to declare an array of ints so it will not complain and of course it's going to tell me there's no new int okay, whatever. just to get rid of the red lines okay I don't need this one but I'm just putting it here so I can just focus on these two now check this two this for loop is going to array dot length minus one which is this is what I'm doing this is the outside one the inner one is minus one minus j which is basically the same thing now this is what I'm doing I'm comparing is this i greater than i plus one this is i when I'm comparing it's greater than i plus one if it's the case I put i into the temp put i into the temp whatever it's in i plus one put it in i give me the value of i plus one and put it in i that's what I do this set is going to put in i the, the information found in i plus one and whatever is in temp put it in i plus one whatever is in temp put it in i plus one so it's exactly the same thing except that now I'm using array list instead of a, an array of int what you could have done you could just, just copy this if you or maybe start doing the same thing with an int and then change it to be an array list so I could just for example do some stuff like this and then say oh you know what I'm going to change this now instead of this uh, it's going to be list not dot length but size then this is going to be the same thing this size now this is going to be instead of this list dot get i what about this one is the same thing but this one get i plus one but I cannot use compare to I, I, I need to use compare to instead of this one so I'm just going to use compare to dot compare to and I'll put parentheses and then close it after and then I'm going to ask if it's greater than zero because I need to have the same direction of the of the comparison of the comparison now this list does get i this is what I put inside of temp but it's not an int it's a string and then here I need to set something now I need to set the i to be this 
I plus one. So I'm going to have now. I'm not going to delete it, so I'm going to see it. Set the I. So I'm not. I'm putting something into this I. What am I putting into the I? Get the I plus one. So I get the I plus one, and I put it in the I, and this is equivalent to this line. So I can remove this line now. And here is the same thing, except that I'm changing the I plus one, and I'm putting inside of it the temp. And that's what this line is all about. And this is successfully con converting a bubble sort of an int to a bubble sort of an array list of a string. of anything basically. <coughs> if you remove i this i and then you put instead of zero you put one now what you're going to do the first thing this is zero so it doesn't change right the j is zero but the first time you're going to take okay you're going to compare this one sorry this one with this one you're going to leave the first one uncompared. So the, f the Z will stay there all the time. While it should be at the last. So it's not going to work as you expected. Let's run it. You see? From here it works. No, I'm, so I'm saying, look at, look at this here. As soon, this is the in original array. It was sorted correctly after the Z. Because we started from 1. We discarded one and then we started from one and compared one next to it. That's why this absolutely needs to have start of zero. Yes. We can make j equal to one. Yeah, same idea. If you make it one equal to one here, you remove the minus one here, and you remove this one to be minus j there. Then yes, you can make it like that. No, i stays at zero. We always start with the first element of the array and compare it with the next one. This is just controlling where should we stop. Now if I run it again just to make sure, as you can see, it works with the bubble sort. So that's the array list. And that's for this exercise. This exercise. Any questions?